Okay, ah, you have welcome to Agro Investment Opportunities with Taiwo Balogun, and uh, this is the third episode of this program. And I want to use this opportunity to appreciate everyone that has been following this program. Yes, a lot of people have been following us for some days now because I have been getting uh, some feedback. Uh, uh, after the first, uh, after the second episode, and I want to appreciate every one of you for being part of this show. Yes, like I said, this show is to help you to uh, become, uh, to raise uh, a new generation of agripreneurs in Nigeria and Africa at large, and also to help you to become agri billionaires. Yes, to help you to become an uh, to become agri billionaires, so that uh, we can together uh, uh, tap from the soil wealth that is in the soil of Africa, in the soil of Nigeria, and that is the main purpose of this show. And uh, like I told you, that I will be coming up with some practical sessions, practical interviews of agricultural investment opportunities that you can invest in in Nigeria and also I would be connecting with some stakeholders and some practicing farmers yes practicing farmers so today I want us to look at a very important topic but uh, before we look at that let me welcome everyone that are joining this program live because it's going to be uh, streamed uh, live on Facebook it's, it's being streamed live on Facebook I'm sorry is being streamed live on Facebook, but we intend to stream it also or to multi-stream on uh, YouTube and also on LinkedIn. And uh, as I'm speaking right now, we are here to fix the LinkedIn and the YouTube. So right now, you can join us on Facebook while you watch the replay on LinkedIn and on YouTube. And my LinkedIn handle is uh, Taiwo Balogun. Why my fa fa uh, YouTube? Uh, uh, the channel is Taiwo Balogun Consulting. I think I need to correct the one on the on the screen. It is Taiwo Balogun Consulting. So uh, today we want to look at a very important topic, which is the business of vegetable production. The business of uh, of vegetable production. So for everyone that is joining, as you're joining, I want you to do me a favor. Please, 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 please share this video and then uh, let us do this together. And if you have any question, I would I will be glad to entertain your question. I would be glad to entertain your question so that uh, we can we can together learn. So you can also. You can also drop your question in the comment box and let's see how we can do this together. I don't know what happened to my lightning today, but I am sure that we're going to have a wonderful moment together. No, So now, today uh, we want to look at a very important topic, which is uh, uh, the business of vegetable production. The business of vegetable production production the business of vegetable production now i'm going going to be opening you up to a lot of opportunities in the business of vegetable in the business i think i need to say this i need to shock you that i am a practical vegetable farmer yes not uh, i'm not uh, this one is not theory i mean practical vegetable farmer it is something that i have have done i have practiced I've I've grown diverse varieties of vegetables. Yes, I've grown, I've grown, I've grown a lot of them. So, I, what I'll be sharing with you today are from practical experience, and uh, I don't you I don't want you to take it for granted. And that's why I want to encourage you to invite your loved ones, your friends that you think that they can benefit from this program. Invite them and let us do this together. And if you are live with me, you can type in the comment box that yes, I am live. I am live. I am live. Just type in the comment box. Yes, I am live. I just I pray that my internet connection will be stable <laughs> because I'm seeing some unusual unusual frame, video frame rates, 800 and something FPS. Oh my God! I pray 
if you can hear me clearly please i want you to also type in the comment box that yes i can hear you clearly and for people that are just joining you are welcome you're welcome you're welcome i appreciate you i appreciate you joy please help me to share this video help me to share this video help me to share this video and let us do this together let's do this together so like i told you i said the, the topic we're looking at today is the business of vegetable production the business of vegetable production i think i need to to hold on a bit while okay okay why i why some of our the listeners uh, some of our, our fans our family members join i think i need to quickly share these on some of my groups let me quickly do that so please you can also share 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 this share this with your friends share it with your friends share it with your family members let them be part of this show let them be part because like i told you last week that it's gonna be an audience participatory program it's an audience participatory program where you can also call in you can ask questions and uh, i will be glad to answer your questions i'll be glad to answer your questions and uh, then and then we'll be doing some some calling as time goes on we'll be, we can we we'll have we we'll have a phone number where you can call in so now like i said we are looking at this topic it's a very important topic because a lot of people don't know the business opportunity in vegetable production so many people don't know a lot of people don't know a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot so now as we are waiting for others to join as we're waiting for others to join please 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 join 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 and also share 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 this is part of uh, something that i want to use to bless humanity and you can see uh there's no sponsor yet but i welcome sponsor if there are sponsor uh, if you know someone that can sponsor this program i i will be glad to do that i'll be glad to 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 have a meeting with that person and we can discuss the terms and conditions now let's go down let's get down to the business of the day now i said the business of today that we're looking at is the business of vegetable production the business of vegetable production now you may want to ask why should you invest in vegetable why should you invest in vegetable why should you invest in vegetable so now one of the reasons why you should invest in vegetable production is because of the health benefit like you can see on the screen the health benefit is enormous the health benefit is in fact for you can see what is happening across nations of the world right now with the coronavirus the coronavirus issue that is happening in nations of the world now one of the uh, 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 one of the research that is being conducted shows that most of those that are been that are that are that are passing away by virtue of this uh, virus are those that have low immune system that their immune system is low and also the elderly people now do you know one of the things that you can do at one of the things that you can do to yourself at this season is for you to take enough vegetable and uh, you cannot take enough vegetable if there is no farmer that, that is producing this vegetable and that is why you see in a season like this especially in this part of the world in nigeria vegetable production vegetables generally is always on the increase the price is always on the increase why because we are in dry season since december november december january february that that's the peak season where vegetable production and feb and march that, that these are the seasons uh, where people a lot of farmers make a lot of money and you see one of the one of the beauty of this uh, business is that the environmental benefit is also awesome the environmental benefit is awesome and uh, i want to encourage some of you that have a little space in your in your home in your in your backyard uh, you can you can start from home you don't wait until you have a large span of land you can start from the back of your of your yard yes you can start 
from your compound you can start with a little space you will be surprised that you can be growing some of the vegetables that you are eating you can be growing them even if you don't want to do it as a business you can do it you can grow your vegetable for consumption yes the business opportunities is 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 also huge is huge is huge imagine this season if i tell you how much ugu farmers uh Iwedu farmers um uh, spinach farmers are, are raking in at the end of uh, 60 to 90 days you'll be surprised <laughs> in fact some people don't allow it to get to, to 90 days there are there are there are some 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 farming system that you can do and within 45 days 45 days to 60 days you can harvest and you make your money so now the startup is also reasonable the start of vegetable production startup is very very reasonable that it will surprise you it will shock you that uh, a lot of people can start you can start with half plot of land or with a full plot or you can decide to say okay i want to go for an acre of land that that six plots or two acres or three acres as as you have the capacity to to start but the more land you have the more the profitability the more the space the land space the more the profitability so and uh, that is why i said the startup is very very reasonable because uh, you can start from the back of your yard i know a time that i was growing vegetable where i stay and uh, for some time we were feeding on the on, a, on the vegetable production that we did on just about a plot of land yes we were, we were feeding on that it will surprise you so it is something that anyone can do in as much as you have zeal you have what it takes you have what it takes you have what it takes and you care or labisi welcome uh, then asin and amino bello also uh, uh umo umo numero welcome 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 so we are treating we are treating we're looking at the business of vegetable production today and uh, i just told you uh, why you should invest in vegetable production and i said because of the health benefit environmental benefit business opportunities and the startup it is something that you should be looking into and it is something that you can grow year in year out all around the clock you can grow all through the year you can produce vegetable to for uh, uh, within the all through the year yes you can produce that abiola Razak, welcome now you know that vegetable crops are significant uh, uh, um, I, I mean do you know that vegetable crops has um significant market potential with a uh, grocery stores yes you can also also in the farmers uh, mart farmer farm mart or farmers market and also in restaurant a lot of restaurant needs vegetable hotels schools retail operators in nigeria and across the world in fact look at what is happening in in, in nations of the world now where there is shut down because of the coronavirus do you know that there is there is already there is already shortage of food in fact america uh donald trump was saying yesterday during the press conference that there's gonna be there's likely to, going to be food insecurity in the united states of america also in britain in britain so now look at what is happening and also even in nigeria there is shortage of vegetable production why because of the dry season that we are into and like i said this is the best season where people and make more money more money yes there's no no time that you can grow vegetable that's one thing about vegetable but this period this season from november last year up to this season till like um next month you can still make something good yes you can make something good now i have this to share with you that vegetable farming vegetable uh, profitability vegetable farming profitability now despite the fact that vegetable farming is a is a labor intensive practice it's very popular among farmers as a high income branch of farming if i i know of some farmers that don't they don't grow anything than vegetable farming i don't say you shouldn't grow any other crop you can grow any other crop but you see 
if you if you master vegetable farming you'll be you'll be surprised because it is something that before you know within 45 days 60 days 90 days you have you have you've harvested your produce and then surprisingly there, there is ready-made market for vegetable production and in the course of this presentation i'll be sharing some some species of vegetables that are hot kick hot kick in nigeria i am sure of nigeria even in some part of the world yes i'm sure that when you grow them you'll be surprised <laughs> you'll be surprised oh if i in chilaka welcome now the secret of vegetable farming profitability lies in its high market price especially in this season as well as in high demand for uh, as well as the high demand for vegetable uh, year round year round especially when you are growing organic vegetables when you are growing organic vegetable you can you can cash in all through the year you can catch in cash in all through the year and uh, it, it's something that you should be looking into because you do it will surprise you it will surprise you now let us look at the types of vegetables the types of vegetables the types of vegetables that uh, you can you can grow uh, vegetables are divided into the following groups we have leaf vegetables now look at the 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 the, 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 the type of vegetables that we have here the leaf vegetables are lettuce they are cabbage african spinach ugu um eredu, uh, which other one um there's this one water leaf bitter leaf you know all those stuffs are they are leaf vegetables they are leaf vegetables and it will surprise you that <laughs> i know I, I there was a time i saw a documentary of a of a an um uh, bitter leaf vegetable production uh, of farmer in the north in the east that the woman is making wow cool cool money she's making cool money cool money it will surprise you so this is something that is huge it is huge and then um, you see it is something that you cannot afford to to just look at as if uh, this thing is not is not real it is real it is real a lot of people are, are going into this vegetable production and then they are making something worthwhile out of it now you can decide to say okay i want to be growing igu, ugu alone ugu that spinach I, I will still get there i'll show you some benefits when we get there and then um, oh there's no much time I, I think i'm going to extend the time to like eight eight ten now look at we also have fruit vegetables fruit vegetables are pepper cucumber tomatoes those are uh, fruit vegetables they are they are, they are things that they, they are fruit vegetables and then uh, let me tell you something that you see it uh, hardly hardly before you see someone that doesn't eat tomato in fact tomato is a huge business opportunity all over the world i've been to some countries of the of the world some nations that they don't usually take pepper but they take tomatoes yes they don't usually take a, a, a kind of pepper hot pepper no but they take tomato Oh, welcome, Balogun James. Also, Pastor Lushola Adebayo Ekabo. God bless you. Now, you see, like I said, the 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 some nations, some some people, some some people don't eat pepper, pe pe pe, but they eat tomato. And look at the way we even consume tomato in Nigeria, in Nigeria alone. Not to talk of Lagos State. So, if you have tomato farm. In fact, there are there are not to talk of the wastage. There are ways you can preserve tomato that both dried tomato and fresh tomato that it can last you for over two years. I have a I have a, a solution on that. I have something I'm working. I've been working on that for some years now, and uh, it's it's something it's something that will marvel you. I, I have a, a tomato that I preserved since about two years ago. Now over two years now, and it's still fresh. Yes, now. But that one is uh, is is that that by the way 
Now, we're talking about the types of vegetables that we have. We have root vegetable where we talk about the carrot, sweet potato. Those are the fruit. The sweet potato, even Irish potato uh, is, is, is in category of root, uh, root vegetables. Also, we have uh, bulb vegetable. You know, a lot of people don't know that garlic, onions are, are bulb vegetables. <laughs> people, people don't know. So many people don't know that they are, they are called, they are categorized as bulb vegetables. Bulb vegetables. Now, the, the micro, micro greens too is another business opportunity that only few people are doing that in Nigeria. I only know of, uh, of, of, of about two or three people that are doing it in, in Nigeria, I think I know of one is in Abuja. One is in Abuja because of advert. I, I won't mention the company's name. The lady is doing well on microgreens. Microgreens are nutrient and flavor packaged mini versions of fully grown vegetables that can be harvested within a few days. Like one week, you've harvested them. You see one week and some of them are some of these vegetables that they are used that, that is being used for, for salad. Some people, you see, some of those things are grown within a week, two weeks. Like uh, this Malabar spinach, red mustard, and uh, most of them are used for salad. And you, it will surprise you, it will surprise you that you can be growing some of these things and also be cashing in. Also, although there's a system to grow it, uh, it is called hydroponics. It is hydroponics. We'll get there. Once we we'll get there, I'll, 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 I'll share more with you on that. Now, let us look at this, this, this um, uh, stuff. It is estimated that the market value of hydroponic fruit, look at hydro, hydroponics, hydroponic fruits and vegetables will grow up to $27.29 billion by 2020. Hmm. By 2020, look at the sources from Vanguard NG, Vanguard Nigeria. It was this was stated or mentioned in 2018, and we are in 2020 now. So we have two more years is it two more years yes we have two more years more than two more years two more years to 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 hit this this uh, uh, uh 27.29 billion dollars and uh, you you see a lot of people don't know that there are a lot of business opportunities in the vegetable production uh, um, sector that you can you can be making your cool money that and a lot of people will not know that you are making money you see one thing i like vegetable about is that i you know i told you i said i'm a practical vegetable farmer i am a practical vegetable farmer tell me ask me what i've not what i've not uh, grown <laughs> even uh, so now this is something that is real so you can still come into this business. You can still tap into it. You can. You, there are a lot of. As time goes on, in a subsequent episode, I'll be sharing some vegetable system uh, uh, with you. The the, the 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 farming system that you can go into that you can do some of the farming system that you can do. Mike Ugedi, welcome. Now, some of these things are things that you can, like I mentioned, that you can do with like, at least with small space of land. You can start with that at least maybe half a plot or one plot or one acre, two acres. You can start. In fact, if you have an acre or two acres of vegetable production farm, you'll be surprised how much you'll be making on at the end of uh, uh, every every 45 days, 60 days, every 90 days. Because there, 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 are, there are ways that you grow, you can mix, you can do you can do mixed farming as in vegetable mixed farming where you you have some portion for ugu, veg, ugu uh, vegetable you have some for spinach some will be for water leaf some will be for uh, uh, bitter uh, bitter leaf and other other species like that and you see by the time you are harvesting you'll be surprised because there are ready especially ugu vegetable ugu has ready made market irrespective of where your farm is located just that let it be accessible to to buyers let your farm be accessible to buyers and you'll be surprised if you'll be surprised now now look at this what to consider before you set up a vegetable farm because a lot of people don't look at this they don't look at this now you need to look at the popularity 
Now, when I say popularity, which one do people consume more in the market that you'll be selling to? Which one do people like eating? Like if you go to an area where they don't usually take a uh, do and you go and produce or uh, farm do, people will not buy it. So you need to look at it. Okay, if my major market or my major buyers, because one of the ways where we sell, where one of the ways we sell vegetable is we look for market days and take your produce to the market. You will see a lot of buyers will come to the market during the market days and buy from you so if they are not consuming the kind of vegetable that you want to produce then they will be, it will run into loss so before you farm you need to do your own you need to do feasibility study of the environment that is that, that your farm is located and the the uh, markets that are situated to, uh, located around your farm and also find out about their market days. When are they going to be uh, coming to this market? When do they usually uh, come to this market? Those are the things that you need to do. Now you can let, now, now let's look at the startup capital. The startup capital you can start from five thousand upward. Like I said, you can start from the your the back of your of your yard from your compound, and you can start with as low as five thousand, even two thousand. What all you need is to prepare the land and also um, get the small manure and then you can and then you get the seed and you just do the the the, the this thing uh, you plow the, the 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 ground and you are good to go then the next thing is to think to to consider is the availability of the land you also need to test run to do the test the test of the soil you need to test to to, to do the soil test you need to do the soil test. So a lot of people just go. Uh, I used to see so many people that will be that advertise land and say farm land. You see, before you buy land for farming or for any agriculture, this is my advice. You need to go to that area and do a survey. Ask people around you, around that area, come, what is the type of crop or farming that is popular in this area? At what type of uh, crop have they planted on this soil? Because you see, it will surprise you that there are some land that you go and plant and the thing, the, the produce will not come out well. Why? Because they have not, apart from the nutrients in that soil, they, that, uh, uh, they, might, they, might, they, might, they might try something else on that land that is, and is thriving. And the one that you are doing is, has not been tested on that land. And you see some of these things, some of these vegetables, some of them, some of them select land. <laughs> it will surprise you. This is from practical experience. Yes, there was a time I got, I bought, there was a time I bought some seed of vegetable, of ugu, ugu seed. I bought a lot. In fact, I said I need the one from Calabar, from Cross River. I said I need that species. And they bought, we bought a lot of, of that seed. And it will surprise you. The land that we've been planting another uh, seed of ugu and it was doing well. When we brought the other seed, which was which came from Calabar, you will, it will surprise you that none of the seed survive. I'm sorry, none of that seed survive. So uh, and and we bought it at high high price. You know, a lot of people will say, ah, this species, Calabar, Calabar Ugu is the best. Is that this, is that, anyone that's coming up, coming out from the north, eastern part is good. I've, I've planted the one from that side that it doesn't do well. Why? Because, you see, because of the soil. Because of the soil. So you need to consider the land. You need to do your assignment and ask, come. How far about this land? How far about this place? How, how far about this? You need to ask and you need to do the soil test or test the soil. Take the sample of that soil. Take it to uh, agric extension in in your either in the state or in the in your local government, and uh, or you take it to the lab. Tell them you want to know you want to do this the, the soil test. And they will do it for you and tell you the content, the the, the, the uh, on that uh, on the content in that soil. They will tell you the nutrients, everything, and they tell you something 
In fact, there are some things that you need. You will be surprised that you can get from the land. I know someone that bought a land, eh? That bought a land in Shaki area and then um, decided to go to do the test, uh, the soil test. And when he got to the lab was where was when they told him that come, this land is good. It's good for farming because it has it has some particles of uh, I think tack or vespa. Tack or vespa are mining. Uh, stuff mining uh, stuff that uh, you can that they use to do uh, um, tires that that so from there the guy now discovered that there is there is mineral resources in that land that is not far from from the surface of the of his land of the soil so he bought that land and few years later he discovered that there is tack in 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 that soil and that was how he made money he bought it at a cheaper rate because the, those that sold it to, to him don't know that there's there's a mineral resources deposit in that land so one of the reasons why you need to do your uh, soil test is because you never can tell there might be gold on the land <laughs> when you take it to the lab they will tell you some things that you can find around that land so and uh, i told you the maturity days of maturity of the vegetables that you want to produce like i mentioned the type the categories of vegetable uh, in the previous slide that uh, there are microgreens that that you can you can grow and it will it will come out within days within five days you've harvested some of them i told you they are being used for for salad some of them are used in some of these Chinese restaurants, some of these for foreign intercontinental dishes. And that's why you need to do, before you do that, you need to do your marketing. You need to do your feasibility study. Look for hotels that will get it off from you so that when you produce, you don't be at, because they can easily perish. You know, some of these things are perishable. They are, they are perishable, perishable stuff. Uh, yes, they are perishable stuff. stuff. So now, you also need to consider the yield per plot or per acre. Okay, if you are growing ugu on this land, you need to do your analysis. If you are growing uh, spinach on this land, you need to do your analysis. How what? Well, how many tons or how many? Um, there's a way we do it. How many? How many tons of or how many these things will I bunch? Yes, you know we do it in bunch. You do 150 naira, 100 naira. Like now, it is 100, 100 naira. You do it because it, uh, vegetable in this season is expensive. So you do it either 100 naira or 150. And then or 100 naira is okay. So that th those that will buy from you will now uh, adjust it or repackage it and sell it at their own price because of their profit margin. So you do that. Now, how many bunch will I see on this land, on this plot of land? On this acre of land so because you are selling per bunch now if you have bunch you can say okay let's say 100 in in uh, uh, one bunch now you can be selling that as also price by the time you sell you now see that okay if you have let's say you are selling at five or seven thousand naira per bunch and you have 100 bunch in an acre now do the calculation so you have to do that calculation before you go into it. You also need to know uh, the, the, the vegetable that you plant per season because of the seasonality. Some of these vegetables are seasonals. They are seasonal. Some of them will grow well in rainy season. Some of them will not be able to sustain the rainy season. Some of them, they will do well in dry season. So you need to know all these things. Then price per season. Like I told you, this season now from november december january february march even till like next month vegetable price is on the high side because the season we are in this in the dry season in nigeria now so it's always on the high side and that's why you can see that there's no iwedu there's no uh, uh some of this iwedu even okra uh, and also uh, uh, with green leaf uh, uh, spinach um which other one ugu is expensive now because of the season so you need to know the price per season before you sell then don't forget you need to know your market who am i selling to if you know who you want to sell to then you know how to do your marketing and sales so if you are in if you are in ogun state now 
you need to know that you can't be selling the same price with those that are in Lekki or in Lagos Island or in Abulegba, some go area like that. You need to know that you need to do that. Then you also need to control your waste, the wastage, because they are perishable things. That's uh, pre uh, perishable produce. So you need to consider that before you grow vegetable. Before you go grow vegetable. Before you go grow vegetable. So now, now let us look at uh, something. There's something. Let us look at something here right now. Now I want us to look at the hot selling vegetables. Come rain, come shine. The hot selling vegetables. Come rain, come shine. Now, the number one that I would like to share with you is bitter leaf or veno, venonia. Yeah, you can see venonia. Now, this very bitter leaf, uh, bitter leaf, as we usually call it, is something that, like I told you earlier, or like I mentioned earlier, I know someone. I, I watch a documentary of a vegetable a bitter leaf farmer in the east that the woman is using a uh, income from that farm to send her children to school in fact to higher institutions yeah to higher institution now apart from the health benefit there are there are a lot of of there are a lot of value that you can have to, uh, to bitter leaf. Some people dry it. Yes, you can dry it. You can package it. You can. There's a way you can do it that you can also export it. Now look at. I said. I said it is efficacious. It, it is efficacious as medicine. As medicine, it is used for treating diabetes. In fact, some people use it for low sugar. Uh, to treat low sugar uh, blood sugar uh, 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 with saint leaf that's if any is it if any yes now some people use it to treat diarrhea some people use it to treat typhoid malaria and uh, some for uh, uh, to lower their their uh, blood pressure their uh, uh, blood pressure yes for hypertension some people also use it to treat cancer and uh, this can be com combined with some 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 things you see so and it has market value and that is why you see some of our brothers our sisters our people from the eastern part of, of nigeria and my people my Igbo people they know the value of bitter leaf and that is why when you go to Igbo restaurant you see they don't joke with bitter leaf in fact the way they are doing it now in the market you see they would have prepared it they would have processed it and put it in the water and they will now be selling it by uh, uh, <laughs> small small <laughs> you say give me 15 I own give me 100 I own and the ones that they are selling you see they can make about 300 percent returns on on that investment because they have processed it wash it put it in water you can just say give me 15 hours own 100 hours own and you can use it you see the way it tastes so that this bitter leaf is, is something that you can grow yeah, and it can sustain dry season. You, we have some that we planted now in my compound. Now you see, even in dry season, that there is no water. We don't usually wet it. It can sustain itself because it's a rugged vegetable. Bitter leaf is a rugged vegetable. Ah, Ogai Mecca, God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, Ogai Mecca Augustine. Thank you. Okay, Ade ye ye. Ade ye ye. Thank you for joining. So the bitter leaf is something that, uh, in fact, when you are doing it, you know, one thing about, uh, I like about with bitter leaf production is that when you are doing it, a lot of people don't put eye. They don't usually, a lot of people don't usually look at, ah, what is this guy doing? You know that there are some things, and there are some vegetables that you, uh, some, some crop that you do, and all eyes will be on you. All eyes will be on you. But bitter leaf is something that people don't usually think, go look into. But it is something that is lucrative. If you have a plot or one acre of bitter leaf farm, you will be surprised. In fact, when you now add value to it, you process it, you dry it, you wash it, you make it, you package it and be supplying. You can package it and be, you don't need NAFDAQ for vegetable. You don't need NAFDAQ. 
the way you process and, and package it, you'll be surprised that you can be supplying it to some restaurants, some hotels, some, some, you understand? So that's one of the business opportunities that I want you to look into. Why the second one, the hot selling vegetable, the second one is ugu. Yes, fruited pumpkin, uh, pumpkin. is something, it is popular in both in 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 Igbo is popular is Imo land is popular in 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 Yoruba land. We consume it seriously now. It is not meant for you know. Initially, we used to think that it is ah Oja Omo Igbo. It is meant for the Igbos. No, this time around, it is meant for everybody. Is good. Is good. Is one of the most popular leafy veggies in Nigeria that secretly has some unbelievable health health benefit. So many people take it. They, 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 when they say they have a low blood a low blood level, they, they 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 prepare it and add and uh, add milk to it. And some people will drink it. You know, it is good. It boosts our immune system. It's also a source of protein. It increases fertility helps you to control diabetes and the market value is there now you can you know how much they are selling ugu ugu is expensive now just small bunch of ugu you see they are selling for 200 naira. <laughs> 200 naira. so that is why i said it's it's out selling it's out selling but one thing about ugu one thing that you need to understand about ugu i mentioned it earlier is that you need to get the seed right if you don't get the seed right and also the soil it won't grow it won't grow and you see at times you know it's a uh, ugu pod you used to see some pod will be as big as this it is uh, the, it is not as big as it is not the bigness that determines that the 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 it that uh, it is not the bigness that determines the output output no it is not it is number one the soil and the way you also take care of this of the of the uh, vegetable why you are growing when why why you are growing it the water the uh, fertilizer if you are using fertilizer if you want to use organic or inorganic you know you need to consider that so now no time oh four minutes to eight we need to wrap up we need to wrap up let me quickly wrap up now let's look at the next one the next one is water leave water leave now water leave is popular in the yoruba the, the uh, southwest part of nigeria but a lot of Igbos are eating it now a lot of our, our brothers and sisters from the east they are taking this thing seriously even our brothers and sisters from the north they are taking this leave now this vegetable so seriously why because of the health benefits and the water content is high the water content is high the water content is high and it is usually recommended for pregnant women now and that's why you see you, you when you go to the market now ah these are our Igbo people i like them they are very very smart you see the way they are selling it now in fact they will, they will combine it and sell it together with um, bitter leaf you see they would have processed the bitter leaf and soak it in water and then tell you ah you need ugu i was surprised you know Igbo don't usually sell ugu um, uh, uh, water leaf before ugure you back call it gure. They don't usually sell what I live before, but now they are selling it. In fact, they will, they will pick it. We usually buy it in bulk. They just put it on the, you know, on man that's it. And you just put it and you just you take it and you say, you know. But now it is it is a, an essential commodity, and it is something that you can do. This guy, this uh, uh, what I live doesn't it, it doesn't require a lot from you. It doesn't require so much. You can get. Uh, the seedling in fact some people don't grow it it just spring up yes but the, some people you can grow it if you want to do it as a business and you can you'll be surprised the water content is high and that's why they said it is it prevents the bladder stones if you have bladder stones problem be taking more of uh, water leave it lower cholesterol prevent cancers prevent uh, cataracts too if you have high issue now our uh, eyes need vitamin C in order to function properly. So high intake of vitamin C will prevent your cataract because it, it, it will increase the amount of blood that flows into your eyes. So this is also in high demand. It's also in high demand. So look into this guy and you, you'll be surprised how much you can be making from it. Yes, uh, you'll be surprised. Now the next selling vegetable that we can look into is uh, African eggplant. Uh, it is called Igbo, F4 Igbo, 
the Yoruba call it. It is common in this part in our in Southwest. It is common here, but it is it is not something that is always available in the market. This type, I've grown this type very very well. I've grown it so much. You know, this one usually have like egg like that of garden egg in between although some people you usually eat it but we don't eat it we don't eat the egg that egg but this this vegetable is very very good and that's why they call it african uh, uh, eggplant now is very very the very very good and it's not is not is not that common in the market is uh, is 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 like is an essential commodity that is expensive it is only in fact in southwest we consider uh, those those uh, those that eat it are big men we say ah wolo wolo manje we used to say ah it is only big men that eat this vegetable because it's not common there's another type that they call igbo too that they call agri igbo is not as as nutritious nutritious as this guy no now so because it is something that is <laughs> it is something that is very very good the health benefit is good look at look at what what i listed that you can treat you can treat body ache heart disease stomach problems teething problems throat disorder in fact it has a lot of health benefit just like ugu so this thing in fact you can be strategic with this guy with just this egg african eggplant you can be very strategic with it and by the time people know that you produce this guy you you'll be surprised if they know that you produce african eggplant you you'll be selective with your buyers with your customers the the market is available but just that you need to be strategic in planning in in doing it you need to be strategic okay let me welcome all those that are just just joining us adeyeye olamoye olumuiwa also adelugba tukumbo oluwa shegun adesan ya adebayo thank you rufai olubukunla thank you thank you for joining so we're looking at vegetable the business of vegetable production today today is not for you know <laughs> now let us let us look at the next one while we wrap up shortly now the next one is tomato this is one of my favorites too i love tomato production and tomato preservation <laughs> tomato production and preservation the business opportunities is huge it is huge is huge in fact growing vegetable or uh, growing tomato organic tomatoes in greenhouse is another <laughs> another good investment that you can look into you can look into and the market is ready is available is available so you can look into all this providing education to farmers because of the wastage you can also look at preserving and packaging it uh, preserving it and you can also be doing uh, 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 tomato plum you know tomato plum tomato is similar to is like semi tomato paste yeah so you can do that you can preserve it you can also do your own tomato paste you can do to me you can dry it you can package is the business opportunity is huge is huge and this is something that a lot of people are not looking into and uh, i want you to look into either of anyone any of this uh, uh, agriculture uh, vegetable production business opportunity that i've shared with you today and you'll be surprised with what you'll be raking in at the end of every uh, uh, harvest period yes you'll be surprised you'll be surprised so these are what i have to share with you today and then i don't want you to just to joke i don't want you to joke with them i don't want you to joke with them because there are things that will change that can change your financial status if you take them seriously a lot of people want to retire they'll be retiring very soon if you're looking for what to do look at in fact one of the business agricultural agribusiness that you can do or agricultural business that you can do with ease of mind is vegetable production or you could do do uh, cassava production for now you can start with that before you go into livestock if you have what it takes to go into livestock i'll be sharing some things with you i'm going i'm going to come up with peak production in fact i'm in fact it will surprise you both the life uh the practical and also the the, the theoretical aspect i'll be sharing some things with you about it so there are things that you can do and then uh, you can you just need to position yourself 
you need to position yourself so thank you for watching this program if you want to get in touch with me like i said i am taiwo balogo i am the 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 ceo of greener innovations limited greener innovations limited is uh, a company that uh, is into agriculture agriculture yes and also renewable resources so you can go ahead in touch with me on the phone number on the screen plus two three four eight one one two eight zero five zero nine eight and my email is on the screen taiwobalogun online at gmail.com also you can visit my website www.taiwobalogun and i'm also on facebook at taiwobalogun impact follow me like me on facebook and also youtube join my youtube channel this video is going to be edited and uploaded on youtube and uh, my youtube channel is taiwo balogo consulting and it will also be available on on linkedin so you can also enjoy it on linkedin it's, it's going to be available on linkedin so thank you for watching if you have any question i'll be glad to welcome your question you can drop your question in the comment box and uh, i will be glad to attend to your question you can also call me up uh, maybe after the show or later tomorrow uh, you can call me if you have any question that you want me to attend to over the phone you can call me on phone or, the, or drop your question in the comment box and i will be glad to attend to your question thank you thank you everyone that joined everyone that watched everyone that shared and uh, i want to appreciate you i want to appreciate you i want to appreciate you so thank you if there is no question i think we can we can close for now there's no question i think we can close let me just wait for like two minutes if there's any question then i can attend to your question if there's any question let me see so drop your question if you have question let me know if you have question i'll be waiting for like two minutes then after that i'm gonna wrap up okay okay thank you so in the absence of question i think we can close for today so till i come your way next week tuesday on the platform of agro investment opportunities with taiwo balogun i want you to know that you should be agriculturally investment minded <laughs> yes think of agricultural investment opportunities now even the fact that there's coronavirus Eh? people will still eat so you can still be a player in this industry and one of the uh, industry that will thrive even after the corona issue is going to be the agricultural sector so look into this and uh, you will never regret doing that i want to appreciate every one of you thank you and do have a wonderful evening bye bye